What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Carlissa um, basically speaking on Jaden uh, and what happened at her show. For those that don't know, her show was um, pew-pewed up the other day. Um, but God is great. She wasn't there, so we're going to continue to pray on that. But um, Carlissa, it was brought to Carlissa's attention, so here we are. She in the tub, yeah. Now, what happened to Jaden? <clears throat> Her G Wagon got shot up. What? Which is a lie. Her show got shot up. Now that's true. Well, I can tell you one damn thing. She was with Bravo, so she, that was all. That was damn near like she was with John. So I know she was gonna be good, <laughs> cause baby, <laughs> if she was with Bravo, that was like being with John. I hope y'all lying in here like y'all normally do, starting rumors and shit. I'm about to go call her mama. She don't like you. Her show got shot up, but she was not there. See what I'm saying? She got tipped off early. Yes, yeah, she did. How come I can't see what all y'all saying? It's one million people talking in here, and I can't see. One million is crazy. <laughs> shot up, but she wasn't there. See, that be the Lord. <clears throat> Them be warning signs. That's a fact. Okay. That meant you need to let your grand you need to let your kids see their grandma before I let them see them myself. That's what the Lord was trying to tell her. The Lord was trying to tell her you're withholding Carlissa's bloodline. Yeah, Carlissa, please. If you would talk nicely, okay, about those children, maybe you wouldn't have that problem. All right from knowing me and um yeah you're that that them, them be them signs who know when he give me a warning baby i listen and when god give me warnings i listen me too I didn't know if she was going to have much to say, y'all. You know she have a heart when she wants to. Honestly, um, she's a Leo, so she's going to have a heart. Naturally, that's we we do. Um, but in the beginning, it may not sound like that. How could you be so heartless? Some people would say in the beginning. But I think she has a heart. She just has a funny way of showing it. The only thing I'm missing is some music. I need some music. If that's all she got, then that we out of here. I can't wait for y'all to get to this TikTok video. Did I see Charles and <clears throat> Miss Netta? No, what they done did, child. A mess. All right, y'all, we about to get to a TikTok video. I'm not going to lie. I don't know which one it was, but I've reacted to about eight of them, and I'll do them live. Baby, hilarious. Whichever one I choose, you're going to love it. All right? Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And that's all we got. Enjoy. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into what's the most delusional thing you've done behind a man. Let's get it. The most delusional thing you have done behind a man. Whether you wanted to catch him lying or doing something, or you just wanted to catch him. What is the most delusional thing? And I'm going to go first. Oh. The most delusional thing I think I've ever done, and I don't even think, I probably just told my friend this the other day, and she looked at me and she said, you need help. She was silent for a while, and she was like, wow, you need help. So you want to say what I did? I have two Instagrams, like we all do. Don't be acting like I don't. So... 
My, my brother boo, got six. He was being a little funny and style about this one girl or whatever that allegedly he met on vacation, but they never met each other. But that's a story, a story for a different day. That's another cup of tea, but we're not about to even get into it. So I went and I found the girl Instagram or whatever. So I'm over here putting two together. I'm like, okay, two plus two is eight. Ten plus ten is fifty-five. Right. So I'm about to put this make this make sense to me. Right. Okay. So I wrote myself to my real page coming to me as a woman to woman. No. This is fucking crazy. Like, I had the whole conversation planned out. I was just like, yo. <laughs> we do some crazy shit. <laughs> oh, <shit>. oh my god <sighs> she wrote herself <laughs> a woman to woman <laughs> oh, i'm sorry oh my god oh let's keep it oh, want some shit i was rowdy with it like like, why are you on such and such for? And my response, this is this is the real moment. I'm like, girl, are you are you okay? The fact that you even made a fake page to come write me and check me about it means it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I swear to God, I was over here like, oh my God, I need to go get help. I had a whole conversation, like the dialogue, the voice changes taking screenshots like i was like i'm gonna go out with a bang like i really had a whole conversation to myself and then like myself started calling me bitches and hoes and i was like bitch i'm everything your mother is i was like i am crazy oh my god i'm crazy y'all like i'm that's the most reasonable thing i think i've ever done for our man <sighs> pray for me y'all just just pray for me what is wrong with some of us? It ain't a part two or nothing. Y'all, uh, these men are getting so bold. God, if this is the batch you have on earth of men, keep them far away from me because I, baby, I don't Oh, this is a good one. That's five minutes. I don't want no parts of it. Let me tell y'all how this man tried to, like swindle his way into some apartment with me so i met this guy last monday on my day off and you know he stopped me in my neighborhood oh, no, you're pretty let me get your number whatever so i gave him my number and then later on that day we was on the phone when i got off work you know just getting a little acquainted with each other like who are you like how old are you y'all already know yeah uh y'all see this t i think she was trying to get him to come out with whatever it is that she thought was happening. And she said it turned out not to be true, but she that's a story for another day. So I don't think she told that story. So later on in the middle 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 of the week, I had to, um, I closed my store. And I usually, excuse me, I usually get home really, really late, like a little after like 11 o'clock. But like, I walk from the train station to my apartment. I do it all the time. It's just one long ass block. It's not like I'm walking like 40 million miles. But he was like, oh, like, let me pick you up from the train station. It's late. I don't feel like you should be walking. I was like, all right, cool. He picks me up and we grab some food. We end up going to like this little Spanish. We got some food and like, you know, we we're talking as he's driving and he's like, we're just getting a little bit more acquainted with each other. Right. So I thought so. You know, he's like, I'm going to put you all up in my business. Like, I'm going to just tell you who I am and what I come with or whatever. So I'm like, okay, like, what's up? He's like, you know, 
I take care of my father, you know, my father has dementia. So the first thing I'm like, oh, it's like, oh, he goes, dad, you know, that shit is in my family. Everybody got it. My uncle, everybody gets it. My grandmother has it. I was like, oh my God. First thing that goes in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, baby, you're next. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Why would she say that? <laughs> Why would she say that? <laughs> Yo, they are taking me out today. <laughs> Baby, you're next. <laughs> oh, you're like 40 something. You're next. Oh, my God. I'm next. And I don't want no parts of that. Oh, my God. So then he goes to say, not that I'm making fun of people that has that, that sickness. I just don't want to have to deal with that. It's a choice. Right? Uh, so I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, he's next. He's going to get that shit. Oh my God. So then he goes, my father is like also schizo. I was like, oh. It's just a lot of mental issues going on in this family. And it's deep rooted. Like, I all got it. So, you know, he was like, yeah, like we have a little problem with the apartment. So, you know, I have to like evict my father or something along the line. The story didn't make sense of how he was getting evicted if that's his place and his father was still, I don't know. I don't know. So I left that alone. I was like, you know, things are going to get better. You know, when that whole speech, like, you know, life is the hard, hard days don't last. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. That's, that's just me. So he drops me home. I say, thank you. The next morning I'm getting ready for work too. He comes out of nowhere. He's like, so Mona Lisa, how many dates I have to take you on until you let start letting me crash at your place? First of all, after he told you all that, you still talk to the nigga? And don't get me wrong, like, it's not the dementia part. It was just everything else for me. Because y'all know recipes to my granny. Dementia is, it, it, fuck dementia, okay? But it's a possibility to get it clearly when you're older. Um... That wouldn't have been my problem. <clears throat> After that, he started talking about his dad and the S word. I hate saying it. And then now you want to move in my apartment or nah. Excuse me. You, why do you want to crash at my place? He was just like, oh, like you see the situation that I'm in or whatever i'm like no like i don't want you in my house so that already threw me off and when like he saw that i like my tone and everything changed he was like i'm just playing i have plenty of places to go no you're not no you're not you're not playing you're not playing at all actually you don't have many places to go no you don't like why is it that somebody that you met under a week you're asking them like when can you crash that is so crazy to me Anyway, I didn't br bring it up. He left it alone. He dropped me to work the following day. Not to work. I'm sorry, to the train station. So I had just got my hair done, and my friend was excited to, like, see my hair. So she faked Then we'd be over here trying to figure out why people dis disappearing and shit. Like, damn, our friend was just good, and now she missing. Why are you still talking to him? What is wrong with y'all? I don't understand. He's time me. Mind you, I'm in the car with him. So I was going to tell my friend regardless, I was going to call her back. So as soon as I answered the, the phone, he's like, yo, who are you talking to? Excuse me, bitch. We can stop this car right now and I can get in the Uber. Like, you're questioning me who am i on the phone with and that's why my friend i was like i'm gonna call you back so i'm like yo what was that about like i was like i don't like stuff like that like don't question me about who i'm on this is my phone i pay the bills so i'm going to talk to anyone i want to and regardless when i got on the phone i don't like being around people when they're on the phone and around people i think that's rude too i wasn't gonna call my friend and be like hey babe i'm gonna call you back but he didn't even give me a chance to do that 
So he drops me to the train station and he like apologizes. And then he was like, you know, the problem with me is that I meet a woman on this day. I feel like we should be here by this day. Babe, you don't got to worry about me. I am out of here. I am out of here immediately. So I didn't You shouldn't have never got in there. For the rest of the day, he's cut off. I don't want to go anywhere with you. So today he just wrote me. He was just like, I miss talking to you. Um, can you give me a call when you get a chance? I wrote him back. I was like, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm a little busy right now. Have a good day. And that's it. Move in. Babe, are you a squatter? Yeah. You're squatting? Like, oh my, like, I never, like, when I mean that was so bold, like, once that you would have been asking me for money? At your big ass forty year old age, no, like that literally made me sick to my stomach. No, I'm not going. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna. How many it. dates I have to take you on until you start letting me crash in your house? Absolutely not. Yeah, these men. I ain't gonna lie, like I don't know why women like still like to take a chance on people when they have showed you they are like bad shit crazy and don't get me wrong when you in a relationship for a minute and somebody get back if i ever get crazy hey something happened help me help you know what i'm saying <laughs> something has happened okay but when you just meet a person like and you just immediately crazy no 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 ladies run fuck <laughs> going on y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below because i am done with this video <laughs> love y'all appreciate y'all hey